Okay, welcome everybody. This is PPI 365. Today we are going to take a look at customization and configuration using the PowerApps.com. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm going to go to PowerApps.com. And again, this is going to be a very high level overview. Once I go to PowerApps.com, I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Once you have successfully signed into PowerApps.com, first thing you want to do is make sure that you have the right environment. So I'm going to go to the navigation bar and I'm going to drop down my list of environments. I'm going to work in my training environment today. So I make sure that that's selected and then I go back to the home. <clears throat> From here, I can start my work. So I could go to data and look at all of my entities. Here I have all my entities inside of my uh, training environment. As you can see, it uh, has the list of all the entities um, out of the box and customized entities as well. From here, if I wanted to go down and start a solution, I could go to the bottom and go to solutions. From my solutions area, I could go ahead and start working with any solution that I uh, was currently working on. As you can see, there are some third party solutions that have been uh, entered or some Microsoft solutions as well. And if I wanted to, I could click on, click on create a new solution. I could import. I could publish all the customizations. I could switch back to classic view if I wanted to from here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up my solution that I'm currently working on. Once I'm in my solution, I can easily see that um, I could go ahead and create a new uh, app dashboard entity, so forth. I could add existing ones. I could export and publish all customizations, so forth. Um, from here, I could start working with my entity. So I would click on my entity that I was working with. And the nice feature here is that's very similar to the new user interface that um, Microsoft has come out with for the new uh, version 9. And you can tell that things are now back to tabular, which is easy to get around. So if I wanted to actually look at my forms, I could click on forms. Here's my forms. I could go to my main form, click on these three little ellipses. Nice thing is you could edit the form and you could edit the form in the new UI preview. <clears throat> So it's very easy to get around. I can add a form here and edit a form up from up the very top as well. Um, as you can see, you can go ahead and you can create your apps. You can look at what apps you do have created. Again, this is a very high level overview of using Power Apps for customization and configuration. Good luck, and we will expand on this further in other videos to come. Thank you.